Surprise, everybody, it's me, Design Method. I'm back. I hope you'll accept these. I've been away a while and I'm sorry. Uh... Look what the cat dragged in. A washed up affinity YouTuber. Well, I mean, wouldn't say I'm washed up. Design Method, we thought you were dead. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I wasn't dead. I'm not dead. I was just busy. Do you two know each other? Now shake my hand, you idiot. I'll see you in hell, Henry. Okay, so this one is called Design by Nature. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is nature is beautiful and everything seems to work in harmony. All the colors, everything just sort of fits. Whatever season, wherever in the world, it looks just beautiful. And what we're gonna do is pull some natural colors from these natural, untouched landscapes and create some really cool stuff. Let me show you what I mean. Nature just seems to get it right. If it's untouched by humans, again, any season, any place in the world, these beautiful colors are everywhere around us. And you can use these colors and these landscapes to come up with ideas and design different things, logos, packaging, whatever you're into. So we're gonna use this example here, like a volcano from like Iceland. We're gonna go into Affinity. We're gonna pull some of these colors and design something. Let's go. All right, so we're in Affinity Photo. Let's grab some of these colors, these natural colors here. I'm gonna show you how to do that to design something really quickly here. So I got my background here. First thing I'm gonna do is reset my studio back to default, just in case your screen doesn't look like mine. And we can match them up by going up to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio. That'll reset everything back to default. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a shape. I'm gonna go over to my tools over here, and I'm gonna grab, out of my shapes, I'm gonna grab a triangle. So I'm just gonna click, drag out a triangle. And this is the color it is right now by default. I'm gonna change it by pulling one of these colors out of here. And the first color I want is one of these, this kind of like dark, dark navy almost uh, of this, whatever this thing is um, here. And the, the way to do that is to go up to your color picker tool in the top right corner. It's right here. And you're gonna click your mouse, hold it and drag. And when you, uh, you to know it's working, you'll see as I'm moving the circle around, it's picking up magnifying and picking up the colors. So I want this like bluish, dark navy blue type down here. So I'm gonna, now that I have it selected, I'm gonna unclick my mouse. In the top right corner, the color picker has now changed that exact color. Now that I have my triangle selected, I'm gonna click on it again, and now it's changed that triangle to this color over here. So that's my first color. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is grab another triangle. I'm gonna click, drag it out. And I want another triangle, but I want it to be maybe this orange in here. So my shape selected, back to the color picker tool in the top right corner, click hold, drag it out. And I'm gonna grab a nice orange in here, this'll work. Now it's been loaded into the color picker. I got my uh, shape selected, click to assign it. There we go, so now I have that in there. Perfect, so I have two colors now. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is grab another shape. I want this yellow in here. So I'm gonna go back to my shapes. I'm gonna grab a circle, click, drag it out. And I want a yellow from in here. So I'm gonna back to the color picker tool, click, drag. I'm gonna find a yellow up in here, I like that. Assign it to my shape by selecting the shape and clicking back on the color picker tool. Perfect, so now I have this circle in here. And what I wanna do is I wanna put this circle inside this um, orange triangle so it sort of fits in there properly. So to do that, I'm just gonna grab the circle from the layers panel on the right-hand side here. I'm gonna click, hold it, and I'm just gonna drag and let it go over top of the triangle so it embeds inside of it. So you'll see here at the top, you have the parent layer, which is the triangle, and the child, which is the circle, which is now embedded inside. So if I move it around, it'll just stay inside that shape. So let's do something like that maybe. We can adjust it later. Uh, next, I'm gonna grab uh, a piece of text that I can put in here and I'm gonna use one of these white colors from the snow. So I'm gonna grab my text tool here in the uh, tools panel, click, drag out. I'm gonna make it just say the letter X and I want it to be this white color of the snow over here. So with my text selected, I'm gonna go up to the color picker tool, click, drag, bring it down to maybe here, release. That's the color I want. Now that X is there. So I'm gonna put that in there like that. And I also want this embedded inside the uh, triangle as well because I want it to be kind of hidden in there. So again, I'm gonna click on my text, hover over top of my triangle, let it go. And now you can see it's inside there. So we'll drag that out like this and I'll center it maybe like that. And let's do one more thing of text. Uh, I'm just gonna write camp, write the word camp. 
and it's going to get blended in there. So I'm going to make it this uh, blue color again. So uh, I previously had this blue selected, the navy blue from earlier. So I'm going to click on that with my text selected and that'll change that to that. And we can change the text to something else. I don't know if any of these look cool. Should have planned this out a little bit better, but let's go with this one, Camp, Camp X. And there we go. So, um, so this is what I've done. I've created this very quickly, very simply, pulling natural colors out of a natural landscape where no human has touched to make a really cool design. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, uh, you know what to do. You gotta tap, tap, tap that like button. And if you've never seen my videos before, hey, why don't you subscribe and we'll uh, have a dinner together and then like you'll go to pay, but then I'll pay and you'll be like, wow, that was, that was, that was cool. Um, maybe, I don't know. Okay, uh, anyways, thanks. Subscribe, like YouTube, what YouTubers say, do that. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, thanks.